Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be continuing our Dishonored stream. Uh, this time we just barely got out, as you can see. And we are going to go and see what the world has to offer us. Dun dun dun. Dishonored. Hostiles killed. 16. Overall chaos. High. I do want to go through and do a... I'm never going to do a completionist run, but I am going to try and do like a ghost run or a didn't kill anyone run. So yeah, lots of problems. I got most of the coins. I'm just going to say, I've got most of the coins. Oh, I will go through and try and get a lot of these, but I don't think I'm ever going to try and get all of them. It's just a lot. Successful drop is up. <coughs> Hidden allies. Hidden in an old bar, bar on the river. Your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalists in a circle to learn what they've got in mind. Going to speech. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Yeah. Considering there's buildings that are just falling apart. Finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped. The Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Not a surprise, yeah. But considering... Take care to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Yeah. I'm not surprised by what's happening with the plague and the entirety of everything. This is just a very poor situation. Meet with the loyalists in the bar. Let's go take a look. Buzzing noises coming from the shop. So it started at last, Admiral. We found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yeah. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the story. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story, Shepard. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. This isn't one of your fancy dress parties. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my whip. But it's a fair point, as always. He'll be here soon, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. I really like this conversation, because it actually shows them being proper loyalists it's not that oh we have need for him so we're going to trust him it's oh he's actually someone we trust and i like that we can continue this later lord pendleton the man of the hour is here corvo i'm admiral havelock a true servant of the empire like you until the lord regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne and i'm lord yep. trevor pendleton i represent the nobility in our little group but we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yeah. Yes. These two. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Yeah, those two, it's like, it's obvious that they have ulterior motives. Good to have you with us, But it's like, everybody will have ulterior motives. These people actually seem to trust you is the biggest thing. Like, it's not like they're going, oh, we are just going to use him for what we can and then throw him away. It's more of, Corvo is a good man, we're going to trust him kind of thing. And that I can appreciate. 
Let's see, Piero. Hello. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work for you. I will create the tools of a master assassin. There's a very big drill for the nose hole. No, this cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. I see no issue with this. Cool. Yes, I robbed my friends blind too. Everything is loot. That's goblins. Ooh. Piero's request denied. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal? Tivian oil? What's wrong with the metals in crystal? King's Pharaoh feathers? If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the academy everything you needed was paid off by tariff. Paid for by tariff and handed out willy nil. <coughs> oh dear god, my throat went not happy to this. My apologies. Maybe at the academy everything you needed was paid off by tariff and handed out willy nilly. But this is my bar, or what's left of it. And we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir building materials, and everything else, so you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruins, so no one's going to miss any of the old crap you, you seem to need. Admiral, Admiral Havelock. A second solution. Excerpt from a series of newspaper articles from prominent natural philosophers by Piero Joplin. It is through no fault of my own that the average citizen has expressed a preference for Sokolov's elixir over my own formula, sold as Piero's remedy, a name I did not choose if you must know the truth. The public has spoken and its usual message of idiocy, spending their coin as a means of selecting Sokolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal if not superior. Much has been made over the pop popularity of these concoctions as a means of resisting the remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this strain works with an efficiency we have not seen in the history of the Empire. This plague, now making its way through the city of Dunwall, is unrivaled in its effectiveness. I have studied it within the blood of those so afflicted, and it is nearly perfect. Elegant, in fact. And while it is true that Piero's remedy and Sokolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, my own has properties not fully understood, which relate to the mind itself and the spirit. And it is in this way that my formula wins out. Here is where one should pay attention to this contest. For you see, Sokolov's elixir, with its emphasis on the brute animal body, is a crass goo better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret variants in the key ingredients making up Piero's remedy ensure that it works on the higher functions that separate humankind from the mindless, blue-jawed hagfish swimming in the Ren Haven River. I feel like I read that really badly, and I probably did, but hey. I'm taking the star shard. Oh! Sokolov Technology and New Age, excerpt from a recent book detailing Sokolov's machines. One of the advantages of Sokolov's technology is that they share the same magnetic socket for the tanks of the processed whale oil they use as fuel. When a tank is exhausted, another can be plugged into place with ease, and the process is simple enough that any common worker, workman, or even the lower guardsmen of the city watch can handle the task. This applies to the arc pylon and wall of light security systems, as well as the powered carriages used for transport by those few who are wealthy enough to afford them. The only obvious downside of Sokolov's designs is the volatility of the tanks themselves. A few incidents have occurred resulting in damage to property or bodily harm whenever one of the tanks has exploded. I should probably continue with the actual game. Take this. Go upstairs. That one is empty. A new tank. Yes. Continue my rampage. Oh god damn it, I want the thing behind it. Uh, whale oil processing. Excerpt from the founder of the Greaves Whale House by Ebenezer Greaves. Out at sea, they secure the beast with hooks with lines cast from the main ship and from several smaller boats. 
Buoys keep the whale from diving deep once it's caught. A larger hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them into the deck, then lift them into the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature, sliding off the fattiest parts while it still lives. Give me my loot. Whale Oil Refining Station Sokolov no longer has the upper hand with regards to supplies of whale oil. The good admiral has paid for the installation of my own system, which will enable me to work in this place. The oil tank dispenser, when activated, will produce an empty vessel for filling. When the empty tank is held near the oil tank refill pump, the magnetic attractor should take the tank and lock it in the correct configuration. Using the level will begin the refilling process. Once refilling is completed, the tank can be removed and placed in service. Extreme caution must be used in handling the full tanks. They are quite unstable. The system is sound and well-engineered. It appears that the Greaves Oil Company has done something correctly for once. So many books. Deadly Counter of Responsibilities. Excerpt from the Manual on the New City Watch Procedures. Commissioned by the Lord Regent in the voice of the growing plague crisis, the dead counter is a position that will only be given to officers, usually of junior or middle grades. In most matters, the Edict of Curfew Enforcement, these officers will defer to the acting officer on duty. However, any dead counter will have command in situations relating to the plague and the handling of the dead, including those with late stage plague symptoms called weepers, in common parlance. Starting in the month of rain, interested officers may apply for the test and, if accepted for the two-week training tour, pay will be administered in coin and rations of elixir at one and a half normal pay grade. Effectively sending people to go keep an eye on the dead. Whale vivisection. Excerpts, excerpts from the notes of a natural philosopher aboard a whaling ship. Remarkably, each specimen has I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possess some minor variants in physiology. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tivan, the crew hauled aboard a female some 42 feet in length. I estimated she weighed 35 tons, and the sh ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with her thrashing. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and taking notes against her bellowing. I cut into the mass of tentacles around her mouth. Within I found raw, row upon row of teeth and baleen running along the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assumed she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. Nice! Well, let's take the whale oil. Okay, down we go. Ooh. I can loot. There's nothing in the trunk to take. I am upset. Trunk, you have failed me! The loot goblin demands tribute! Just get it near. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's man. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Yep. Tell me what I can make for you. Let's see. Let's have a look. I don't know if there's anything I want right now. Upgrades is what I really care about. This is what I really want. How much money do I have? I have a lot of coins. Allows you to magnify your view. I'm gonna start with the crossbow accuracy. I have the money, I might as well. Okay. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. I will take that advice, Piero. 
Sleep well. Okay, that was fun. I am gonna add that to chapter episode three. This one will also. This next chapter will also come in episode three, because that was like, uh, that was a longer. It was a bit longer, but it wasn't doing anything. So I'll just take this in. Okay, so I slept. Immediately loot the place, because loot is like everything. Always check the keyhole. Ah, yes, I know where I am. A visit from the outsider. Yeah, this is different. Something changed. Can't guarantee what, but something changed. It's so nice. I do love these kinds of things. Hello, Corvo. Hello! Your life has taken a turn, has it not? Perhaps. The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For not this, if I, can I have chosen it. you and drawn you into the void. Very bad void. I Many things. Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world. Great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. When's the rat army? Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Come find me. I want my rat army. Press left click, not left click, right click to execute a fast and stealthy dash forward through the world. You can also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Aiming at ledges will allow you to blink forward and climb up. Hold that, hold right click to target your destination with precision. A blue sphere indicates that you should reach your destination. A blue arrow indicates that you will climb up when you reach your destination. Okay. Fallen letter. Let's read. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. You. Can <laughs> I'm not going to go through all that. Give chest. Piero's spiritual remedy. Yep. Emily's letter. Corvo, I am very sad. They say that you're dead like mother, but I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. I'm coming for you! Because I want to stab people. Oh, you thought I was going to save you? No, 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 no. I a stabby person. You are going to get stabbed. You're also going to get stabbed. You might get shot. I haven't decided yet. Loot. Things are becoming problematic, I feel. I don't feel like he has a complete understanding of what's going on anymore. That! Not the expected outcome, but I accept it. Yep, and they're just killing people. Which is horrible. What kind of bullet is that? Oh, I keep forgetting that these guys use bows. Because bows are more popular than guns. Oh, I really do like these zones. I think they're really cool. Any lootables down here? I don't see lootables. Uh... I don't think this lootable's in the zone, so I'm not gonna go loot. Ooh. No candle. No light. No light for anybody. In the days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrine raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. 
You took my wife's With heart. This heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my wounds, no matter how they may be hidden. You took my wife's heart. Listen to and the heart put a mechanical now, in it. And find another wound. Loot first. Equip the heart in your left hand and helps you locate bone charms or ruins through even through walls. The heart beats and lights up when you are facing a bone charm or ruin and it beats faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press right click while targeting in person or location. Loot! Yeah, this is a very strange thing. I want loot. This place is the end of all things. And the beginning. Once again, very bad void. It has way too much stuff in it. Another weird question that I never thought about. All game you spend hunting down Piero's little things. Piero's elixirs. He's the one who makes them. Why doesn't he just give them to you? My room. Once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the powers section to exchange them for powers. I want my rats. Where ah, devouring swarm. I will actually wait for devouring swarm. I really, really want it. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. Now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. I will be selling your runes for cash. So yeah, I feel like that's a good place to end episode three. So yeah, thank you all for coming. Um, not a very interesting episode this time. Lots of dull, lots of reading, but I do like it. I feel like it was a very good lore dive. For anyone who is interested and liked what you saw, please drop a subscribe. If you would like to catch me live, I stream every day from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. other than Sunday and Saturday. Saturday, I stream from noon to 3, typically a community day, playing with viewers. And Sunday is my day off. Uh, I will put a link to my Discord in the description. Not my Discord. Well, yeah, my Discord too. But I will put a link to my Twitch in the description below. Thank you all for coming. Bye. <laughs>